So we must do two things, two great things together to encompass that enormous new view that lies before us, but to encompass it within the framework of science, to see it within the whole categorical framework of science, and to see that these two are not separate, but that they are wedded. The bigness of the idea, the newness of the idea, the greatness of it is one with the structure of science, the structure of being itself. As I said, uh, in great detail, the Messiah had been uh, prophesied in the Old Testament, had been delineated uh, by, uh, for instance, Isaiah and by many of the other prophets. <laughs> Jesus would have to fulfill all of this in order to be the true Christ. So you see that it has much to do with the law. That Christ was expected. The Christ was expected. The Messiah was expected, was anticipated. There had been uh, others who had claimed to be the Christ. They were uh, mistaken, would be mistaken for a while as being the Christ, and then they would uh, go out of the picture. Even to this day, there are uh, those who claim to be the Christ because, of course, the Jews do not accept Jesus as the Christ. And so there is still this watching for the Messiah to come, and here and there, individuals have come along, uh, what was one of them, um, mm, uh, in the, uh, I cannot think of his name, but he's, he was predominant up until about, uh, I guess about four or five years ago, he passed on. Lubavitch or Vevi, yeah. Uh, when he passed on, of course, there was a great questioning then whether he was the, the Messiah or not, and they've figured out how to get around that, I guess, a lot a lot of the his followers. But anyway, it's just to say that this question goes on in the in the Jewish mind. You see then that Matthew is constantly referring to these credentials, Jesus credentials, to his authority, and that is why he says well, that's one reason why he says it. Actually, there's a deep structure why he says that it might be fulfilled in the text. 38 times this appears. So, da 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 da, that it might be fulfilled. That it might be fulfilled. You hear love. You see, love is, is throughout that text. You hear that that it might be fulfilled what was seen a long time ago, what was seen a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, whatever it was. Now, Matthew says, now you're going to see the fulfillment of that. You hear the, the love sense. You hear that in the prophetic age, the prophets were partaking of a divine retrocausality and that they would prophesy. They could see what the future would be. Now that future comes in at, the, at this point of Jesus appearing. And so uh, uh, Matthew says that it might be fulfilled. So that which was seen now is fulfilled. Isn't that beautiful? You hear that relationship of love from the prophetic age into the... Uh, age of the appearing of uh, Jesus as the Christ. So these, these genealogies uh, that begin with, begin with Jesus Christ as the son of David, begin to show his heirship to the legal line, to the kingship line, the royal line, what makes him a real king even on the human plane, on the Jewish plane, if you want to, to say, is that line of David. And that line is 
representing a line of light. It's a line of the light of mind. So you get those first, uh, I have it here, the 18 verses, giving the Jewish genealogies from Abraham through the royal line to show to show that regal line and therefore to show the entitlement of Jesus Christ to the throne of David as king. So that it's the proof that actually he was the king of the Jews. It was never accepted by the ordinary populace, but, but he had all the credentials. It had been preset. Think of that all the way back to the time of, of Abraham. Everything had been preset, what do we say, retro-caused. Retro-caused, the setting was there for the present moment, as it is for this present moment. Everything has been set by love for this present moment to be what it is in its perfection. The question, are you supported by the law? You see, this would be the, the Pharisaical thought, the, the Sadducean thought, the, uh, the scribes, um, the Jewish thought would say, are you supported by the law? And the answer is yes, he is supported by the law. But actually, you see, behind that law is the law of mind, the law of God. There only ever was that one law, and that is what is expressed through those genealogies in, in that line of the light of mind. What is being uh, demonstrated, really, with Jesus appearing is something uh, terrific, um, because we know that all that can ever be demonstrated at any further level, or at it at any level is divine science. And I want to point that out. I want to remind you that the text tells us that Mary was with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost. And what that means, um, how could she be with the Holy Ghost? because of the influx. She was filled, you see, with the influx of the Holy Ghost. Uh, I would love to have something, or um, <laughs> I would love to have my design of being. Will you put your design of being in front of you, and then we'll uh, change the, the tape here and continue. <clears throat> 